and they've ignored the fans' desires to see a lead from Scarlett Johansson in a Black Widow movie. And now only after they've announced Brie Larson as Captain Marvel and that movie coming out and now Ant-Man and Wasp coming out, have they said, well, we could still see a Black Widow movie. And it's like... Seriously? After you run out of ideas? So... When you're, like, desperate yeah. or something? They're like, okay, now you get a Black Widow movie. I don't know. That's my rant for the day. For um, now. I've actually seen a fan-made Black Widow trailer. Was it on Saturday Night Live? No, it wasn't that one. <laughs> Even though that was fucking hilarious. No, it was, uh... It, or I, I think they took clips from, like, the Avengers and Iron Man and even Lucy and just stuff she has been in. Mm-hmm. And Terrible course, fucking movie, by the way. What, Lucy? Oh, God, it was horrible. That's Luke Besson. I know. It's goddamn garbage. <sighs> okay, well, anyway. I thought it was better than Transcendence. I ever see Transcendence? I feel Johnny Depp attacked right now. <laughs> Why? Because we hated I Lucy. Lucy. I it was know, definitely better I than liked, Transcendence, though. I liked both of those movies. I don't know why. But I you say that, and you haven't seen Equilibrium. Mm. I think we just jumped the gun on that a little bit. Mm. He knows what I'm talking about. Equilibrium is a shit. Okay. Equilibrium is the Matrix before the Matrix. Yeah, that's what and it's everyone's been saying. Walking amazing. Yeah. Um, but Christian anyways, Bale. it's like this fan-made trailer where they take clips from other movies, and they have. Uh, someone singing in Russian the Itsy Bitsy Spider. Mm-hmm. Ooh. So, Where they do, like, the the flashbacks of her doing the ballerina stuff. Yeah, they took some of that from Avengers Age of Ultron. See, I would kill to see that kind of movie, man. Dude, like, and Matt, it would, But I, I'm more of a director, ground level... I'm more of a ground level human hero type thing, you yeah. know? Even though in comics she's slightly injected with a, a super diluted super soldier serum or whatever. So... No, I didn't know that that's yeah. just it's that's a longevity it's like the stuff they give nick fury the infinity oh, serum okay. or something or another well i, I, I think, think that's what's a called. movie of a black widow movie directed by the same guy who did john wick would be no ins- yeah. no man you stealing my thunder there bro because i look written down here before we even started recording how about we just have this guy direct everything? Is it ground level and with guns? Not that I'm not critiquing yeah. Iron Fist before it comes out, but were Marvel to do an Iron Fist film, and you know they would have to recast the character, obviously. If they were to do like an older Danny Rand, I could see Keanu Reeves and the John Wick director doing it. I can't see Keanu Reeves doing anything except for Bill or Ted. Which one is it? Which one does he play? He is... Wasn't he Bill? I think he's Bill. And John Wick. And Neo. That's it. Because John... Oh, that, is, that, is the, that is the spectrum of Keanu Reeves acting. As I love Keanu Reeves. I like and I'll 47 watch anything. Ronin. 47 Ronin, I, inter- I was entertained with it. I will watch anything Keanu Reeves, but he's not the deepest... He doesn't have the deepest acting skill set. Of... If you wanted to play someone really stoic, he's your guy. He is, man. He's good, man. He's good. Like, John Wick... Fuck, and you haven't seen John Wick 2 yet, so we're not going to go into that. And it's only been out for a week, so... No, but I did, was... I did kind of steal Thunder a little bit because he wants the director of John Wick 2... Chad Stileski. Chad Stileski? Stileski, Stileski, S-T-A-H-E-L-S-K-I, Stileski. Stahelski. St- whatever. I said before we even started recording that I wanted him to record the dead... Or to film, to direct the Deadshot movie from DC. Well, I, I would actually just... It doesn't really have to be him, but I want people to take notes from him because his shot like they're filmed in real time mm-hmm. and there's none of that shaky bullshit that they like to do the super cuts that they do yeah like and i, I don't then see i so much the way he films i think is way too dark for a disney movie oh yeah i mean but if you're going to do maybe this could be like because the logan trailer looks amazing and deadpool but, was a great movie but that's fox I know, but hold on, hold on. Let me get here. Let me get there. They're both rated R. Mm -hmm. Whereas all the other X-Men movies were like PG-13. And I said, what if the only thing keeping them from making great X-Men movies was the rating? Mm -hmm. So if they came out with like a R-rated Black Widow movie, that would be Disney's never going to put out an R-rated movie, man. Yeah, I know, but still... And they're not going to sell that property. They're not going to sell her rights to Fox or whatever it is. Oh, God, of course not. But DC has put out an R-rated animated movie. So what's to stop them from putting out an R-rated live-action movie? Absolutely nothing. Well, wasn't... 
The Killing Joke was rated R. Well, yeah, but oh, I think Suicide Squad was rumored to be rated R. Yeah, isn't but they of squashed that because was they were Justice trying to compare League it Dark to rated R too, though. Who? What? Justice League Dark. I don't know. That's what we should watch after we record. We probably should have watched it before we record so we could do an episode on it. Yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, um... Learning as we go along. Yeah, do, we'll do, talk do, about do. it next week. If we, <laughs> if we watch it, we'll talk about it next week. But... <clears throat> they were sold out at Walmart. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I was really upset because I wanted it so bad. No awesome Best Buy exclusive for it? Nothing I know of. I think they will only do, like, really, really big releases. Did you read releases. this yet? Mm-mm. Mm. It's... I He's want referring to. to Justice League America Rebirth. Was it good? I haven't read it yet. Uh, it's it's number one on my list to read. Yeah, that's the. I'm excited about it though. That's the variant for. I read Power Rangers. Flash. That was a lot of fun. Yeah. Or the Justice League Power Rangers. Justice League Power Rangers. If you want like a really fun, lighthearted. Oh, look. the crossover that you guys are talking about. Yeah, that yeah. crossover. It's so much fun. I laughed. I laughed out loud so many times in that second issue. In this one right here, in two, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, it's just the way they interact, like, the Justice League interacts with the Power Rangers because the Power Rangers are so, like, yeah, we're upbeat and we're the good guys. Just and super... go shut the fuck up. Right, exactly. <laughs> that was like, he's like Your the turtles are better. <laughs> <laughs> like, they analyze, he, like, analyzes their suits or something and then they analyze him as well. Like, Billy's like, he doesn't appear to have any superpowers, just lots of gadgets. That's Batman, man. No, I. Uh, the only thing I read was the the thing that you gave me, the Tales of the Lantern, the, the Core, or whatever. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Tales of the Core, the Green Lantern Core thing. It's a prelude to Blackest Night. They had these like See, short like the stories, or- origin stories almost. It, except Some for of them... Sinestro's or the Sinestro Core was not. That was Mongol, which was very weird. Yeah, and the uh, Red Lantern one. I mean, that is a origin story, but it's not of. A... No, of Atrocitus, it's of what's her face. Yeah. Um, it's it's like a bunch of short stories compiled into one book mm. about it has a story from each different lantern core. And so the yeah, and Saint Walker's is an origin story. Yes, his own personal origin story. Yeah. But I haven't read Carol Ferris's yet, so Carol Ferris's is interesting because it talks about Star how, Sapphire. How the Star Sapphires have changed from when when she was first inducted as a Star Sapphire and she went crazy and she was like a supervillain. To what the Star Sapphires are now. Yeah. And the only thing... I just got caught up on stuff. I read, like, the Nightwing, the new Bloodhaven issue from that. And then the... The one shot that Chris Priest did with Dead, with Deathstroke, the Chicago issue. That yeah. was talking about gun violence in Chicago and stuff. And, and all that. And it... <laughs> People wanted to praise it for its stance on gun violence, on how, you know, gun violence is out of control and stuff, but the whole time he's killing people, like, with a sword and shit, and you're just like, people are still dying. Yeah, like, but I don't, with a sword, so I it's don't, way cooler. Yeah, that's oh, not man. the point. No, I if, know, the point is that there should be, like, less death. But it's a comic book, right? I mean, the, we, well, we, we read the comics to escape. We don't... I don't, I mean, unless they put out an issue like Love is Love, where it's a specific, it's it's made for a specific purpose. And it was this actually meant fell to be, short. it was meant to be a charitable proceed. Right, and it went to the victims of yeah, the shooting. Yeah, which is Florida. But and, it, this one wasn't a charity. No, it was anything. just a, it was just a social stance made by Chris Priest, I guess. On gun violence in Chicago. That is like the weirdest character to try to put. That was my He's thought. A fucking mercenary. Let's right. use an assassin to talk about gun violence. Like yeah. I felt like, he carries like Batman. five guns on him. Batman would have been a better idea because Batman doesn't use guns. And technically, he doesn't kill. Technically, he doesn't. Just because he doesn't movies doesn't mean he does in comic books. There's a difference between killing and maiming, James. Damn it. Yeah, they're still breathing. Dude, he killed all through the 50s. (laughs) Like, a lot. Through the 50s? Yeah, through, like, the golden age of comics. He killed a lot of people. He hung a dude from the bat wing, for Christ's sakes. He tied a rope around a guy's neck, and he hung a man. When the fuck did that happen? I'll pull up the panel later, but yeah, that happened. In comics. Oh my god. Anyways. He lynched a guy. (laughs) Are we... So are we done with the news? Do we have anything left? 
No, I we're just. I mean, I'm just talking, man. Thing. Yeah. What do you have, what do you what do you want to say, man? You seem like you have something you want to talk about. I'm excited for the April for the button crossover with Batman and Flash. Yeah, did you see the reverse Flash cover that they did for that? Uh, he's like chasing it through the. Yeah, because he plays an integral role. Because apparently he is a lot of. He's the reason the Flashpoint happens, but. And see, Chris messaged me about that, and asked me to vet a site that he was reading that article through mm-hmm. and i think it's comicbook.com which is a garbage fucking clickbait site i said it and that's on record because it is and so i don't know how true that is as far yeah. as the reverse flash being an integral part of it did you read that in the solicitation or anything um i don't think it mentioned him in the solicitation that i can remember i think it well it mentioned something like a, a revelation or something like that but the and reverse I'm, flash didn't cause flashpoint Flash did. Right. But he caused Flash to cause Flashpoint. Because he killed Barry's mom. Sure, but he didn't, like, force Barry to go back and No, he did. I'm not saying he did. He was just there to just rub Barry's nose in it. Right. And it wasn't Barry that was... That was stuck in the Speed Force. It was Wally. And so that's why I kind of I vetted the source and stuff, and it was it's comicbook.com, and just stay away. Um, well, do you have? They've started. Do you doing have suggestions for sites? Like, if someone wants information, do you have any sites that you have come across personally that you recommend to people? Off the top of my head, no. Other I just, than us, other than <laughs> us. I uh, Batman News is really good. I got into a, a little bit of a, a tiff with him. Uh, it's one guy. He does it as a hobby, and he does it mainly through Twitter. And then most of the articles that he posts on his website get Facebooked by these uh, big Facebook groups and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but Batman News is good if you want anything, you know, Batman DC related. Uh, with him, just... I got into a little bit of a Twitter war with him because when... Who was it? When Affleck stepped down as director... He ran an article that he wrote about the fall of the franchise. And I was like, dude, you are so off base where this is fucking concerned. It's like you don't even do the research or read the articles and stuff like that. And he was, he just, you know, kind of didn't really ignore me. Just kind of, you know, kind of schluffed me off. But I just, that's the only one off the top of my head. Everything else I just suggest that you vet. Just vet it, look it up, go to the solicitations pages, you know, make sure that you know what you're looking at. Or try to find the article from a somewhat reliable source. Or a source that you're you're comfortable with. And I think I misspoke last week when I said CBR, but CBR is okay. And that's comic book resources. Yeah. Um, But comicbook.com is hot garbage. And they've put out articles like, Will Matt Reeves save Batman? You know, and all this shit. And I'm like, exactly. I'm like, they have a script, they're happy with it. Affleck just didn't want to be wearing a cowl looking at shorts for the day. Well, so. I mean, you can't no, but really... No, needs saving its flash. I mean, for anyone who has acted and directed the same movie... It's hard as shit, dude. Right, like, you can't... And he can't be in this role, in this Batman headspace, if he's constantly, like, second-guessing himself as a director. And the reason that Kevin Smith's so good at it during the Jay and Silent Bob stuff is because he doesn't have any talk. fucking lines. Yeah, he just, he just stands there. <laughs> he directs while he's on camera. <laughs> Speaking of them, he is doing a reboot. Oh, yeah. Right. And that... Jay and Silent Bob? Yep. Yeah, and it's called Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. Clever. It's like the it's Sharknado. Kevin Smith, I'm going to watch it because I think it's funny. And I've I watched every... I, the only thing of Kevin Smith I haven't watched was... Tusk? Tusk and Yoga Hosers, which is Tusk 2, I guess. Yoga Hosers is a spinoff Featuring the two clerks that are in Tusk. Tusk. Clerks. Oh. They're not. But the, it's, the it's Harley. It's his it's, daughter, Harley. It's, yeah, it's Harley it's her... Quinn Smith and Lily Rose Depp, who's Johnny Depp's daughter. And okay. they play they play characters known as the Colleens. And they are. Colleen and Colleen. Gas station clerks at a gas station called Ed to Zed. Okay. I think it's funny that he named his daughter Harley Quinn. Oh, he didn't know that? has an art print. No, I don't think so. Drawn up by... Arlene Sorkin gave her the shorts that she wore 
when Paul Dini was watching Days of Our Lives and got inspired to create the fucking character. Oh, I didn't know that. I and know she you, also got the bat. Yeah, I knew the bat from thing. Yeah. Suicide Squad. But yeah. I didn't know about the shorts yep. that she wore. Okay. And then Paul Dini gave Kevin Smith a custom...